Hi everyone, Jess here, and today I'm joined with Alex Manns, founder and CEO of Flyer. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Thank you for having me. Of course. So, flight cancellations and delays seem to be a pain point for airlines at the moment, and it feels like this is just getting worse. Why? <laughs> Well, fundamentally, the reservation systems, the booking engines, the pricing systems that airlines rely on, they are expensive, they are unreliable, and most importantly, they are built on technologies that date back to the 80s and 90s in most cases, and industry formats that have existed for decades. This is extremely prone to disruption and failure, and this is fundamentally one of the core reasons why this failure keeps turning into cancellations and disruptions for passengers as well. So it's at least in part to do with these legacy systems? And it's heavily tied to the legacy systems, uh, absolutely, and the language these systems speak. And this is why it's so important that the industry is moving forward into NDC, uh, IANA One Order, right, to store information in a more modern format. Yeah. That's great. And this week, one of the big topics, of course, has been AI. Yeah. And we've seen this throughout the year, not just, not just today. But is this... Um, is this just a trend and how can companies meaningfully use AI? Yeah. So I think there's a few different companies in AI. There is the companies that are doing fundamental research, like OpenAI. They're developing uh, new models, right, new foundational models. There's the companies that are building wrappers or applications on top of those models, but are fundamentally just building an interface. And then there are the companies that are practically applying AI, any type of AI model effectively, to solve a business problem. I think. The, um, the latter is really where the future is, and that's a persistent type of company, like Flyer is one of those companies, right? How do we help improve pricing? How do we more accurately forecast the future? Those are here to stay, and we've been doing it for five years. We'll continue to do it for five years and beyond. But I think there are a lot of companies that are called a tourist in the AI landscape right now, for sure. That's very interesting. So, yeah, yeah it would be good to see how how it compares in prominence next year as well, if it continues to dominate the conversation or if it changes. Yep. So another massive point of conversation has been sustainability and the industry's journey to net zero. Yep. No one can do it alone. I think that's the bottom line. Yeah. But how does tech play a role in this journey? Yeah, so outside, of course, the electrification of aircraft through hydrogen and eventually battery um, and the adoption of uh, sustainable aviation fuel, right, SAF, which we don't play in, right? That's the physical world, we're the software, the bits and the bytes. Um, but in our case, for example, um, airlines are using our technology and our AI to forecast more accurately what load factor or demand will look like in the future. And by doing that, they are much more effective at up or down gauging their aircraft or increasing or decreasing the frequency of their flights. And by doing that, they end up with less empty seats, they end up with higher densities, and effectively a lower you know, uh, uh, carbon impact per passenger because there are less seats. So software is able to have airlines run a more efficient operation and waste less space and as such waste less fuel. Yeah. So that sort of efficiency and optimization. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, moving forward, what's next for Flyer? That, 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 that's a great question. So. Um, we started in revenue management, we expanded into advanced forecasting that allows you to do things like forecast revenue, forecast no-shows, forecast cancellation. Um, we then expanded following some acquisitions um, into booking engines, we bought a company called Newshore that is now powering websites like avianca.com, right, the booking experience for the customer. We bought a company out of Germany that is now enabling uh, offer and order management for airlines to reduce and remove the dependency on the traditional reservation system, the system I mentioned earlier that is holding them back. Um, we have fully integrated those companies uh, and now we are looking for deeper partnerships with the ecosystem that is you know, departure control systems, accounting systems, ERP solutions, upgrade solutions, uh, because I strongly believe that the future of airline technology is built around open standards by which we can communicate together and a modular approach, where the airline has the ability to buy one solution from one company, another solution from another, instead of being forced to buy everything from one vendor. Thank you for elaborating on that. And looking forward to next year now, what motivated your decision to join us as a title sponsor? So the World Aviation Festival is very unique in, in the way that it brings together the, the best minds in airline technology or aviation technology as well as the operator side, the airlines themselves. So it's the one place where you can meet everybody in one place, right? Uh, there's very few 
events in the world where that occurs. Especially this year, it's the first year where we have like an incredible audience, an incredible size of a conference. Everybody is here. If you want to meet Airline X, they have people here. So you're unique in that way, and you know we couldn't resist to uh, to, to sponsor and support the event, um, give the opportunity for our customers to also present what they're doing with us, um, and give them a, a stage effectively, uh, as much as we have a stage for ourselves. Fantastic. Well, thank you for joining me today, and I'm looking forward to next year. Thank you very much.